The Dawnless Day's Total War, commonly known as the Battle of Moria, would go down in Dwarven history as a symbol of their unyielding resolve and unbreakable spirit. The Iron Hill Dwarves set out on a perilous quest to rid the Halls of Moria of the armies of goblins, orcs, and trolls that had overrun the ancient stronghold, led by Lorne Dayan Ironfoot. With a force of 5,000 Iron Hill Dwarven soldiers, Lord Dayan led the assault, driven by the desire to restore the glory of Moria. The odds were stacked against them as the enemy forces numbered between 15,000 to 20,000, significantly outnumbering the dwarves. However, the Iron Hill Dwarves possessed superior skill, armor, and weaponry, believing that these advantages would level the playing field. As the dwarves approached the entrance of Moria, they were met with a formidable sight. A large force of goblins, orcs, and trolls emerged, guarding the entrance with sheer malice in their eyes. Undeterred, Lord Dayan ordered his troops to form a defensive formation, placing the heavy iron guard at the front. Recognizing the enemy's numerical advantage, Lord Dayan made a tactical decision. He dispatched 800 of his elite iron hammers to the left flank, aiming to prevent the Morian army from surrounding his forces. The battle commenced as the Morian forces charged the Dwarven mainline with their lighter goblin infantry. The Dwarven artillery and skirmishers unleashed a barrage upon the charging goblins, inflicting heavy casualties. The skirmishers strategically retreated behind the Iron Guard's spear line, providing continuous support from a safe distance. With their first assault repelled, the Morian forces regrouped and advanced their more heavily armored soldiers for a second assault. However, the Iron Guard proved their mettle, easily dispatching the light goblins and forcing them into retreat. Undeterred, the Morian forces launched their second line of attack, attempting to surround the dwarven left flank. Despite their numerical disadvantage, the dwarves fought valiantly, uttering battle cries to embolden their spirits. However, the relentless onslaught of enemy forces began to take its toll. As the trolls advanced, the dwarven left flank began to crumble under the overwhelming pressure. Surrounded from all sides, the dwarves found themselves in a dire situation. Yet their resolve remained unbroken, and they continued to fight with unwavering determination, slaying numerous goblins and orcs. Amidst the chaos and carnage, Lord Dayan and his dwarven warriors fought on, their valor shining brightly. The dwarves held their ground on the main line, valiantly battling the horde of trolls, even as their flanks had fallen. Their heroic efforts resulted in the majority of the Morian army being vanquished, sending the remaining orcs and goblins retreating in disarray. However, the victory came at a great cost. Lord Dayan and his dwarven warriors had suffered immense losses, with only a hundred soldiers remaining from their once mighty army. Yet their sacrifice was not in vain. The Battle of Moria would forever be remembered as a testament to the unyielding spirit of the dwarves, their determination to reclaim their ancestral halls unbroken, despite the heavy price paid. The echoes of their battle cries would resonate throughout the halls of Moria, a constant reminder of their valor and the unbreakable bond forged in the fires of conflict. The dwarves would honor their fallen comrades and continue their quest to restore Moria to its former glory. Lord Dayan, though burdened by grief, would rally his remaining warriors and vow to rebuild their shattered army. The victory at Moria would serve as a beacon of hope for the dwarven realms, inspiring others to join their cause. The news of their triumph spread far and wide, reaching the ears of neighboring kingdoms and kindling a renewed sense of unity among the dwarves. In the aftermath of the battle, the dwarves meticulously scoured the halls of Moria, ensuring that no trace of their enemies remained. They fortified the entrances and set up defenses to safeguard their newly reclaimed stronghold. The ancient forges were reignited, and the sound of hammer on anvil resonated once again, symbolizing the rebirth of dwarven craftsmanship. With Moria firmly back in their hands, the dwarves embarked on a mission to restore its grandeur. They delved deep into the depths, reclaiming lost treasures and uncovering the secrets of their ancestors. The halls echoed with the sound of hammers and chisels as the dwarves carved intricate designs into stone, breathing life back into the forgotten halls. The Battle of Moria became a tale of resilience and determination, sung by bards and storytellers across the lands. It served as a testament to the unbreakable spirit of the dwarves, their unwavering loyalty to their kin, and their relentless pursuit of justice.